Now let's talk about how you can download Word on a Mac. Let's get into it. So there are a few options which you have if you, if you want to just edit Microsoft Word or like Word documents. Naturally, the first option is to open up the App Store and there there are the Microsoft apps available. So you can literally just look up Word and you'll be able to download the app directly from the App Store. Just keep in mind that all of the stuff like your app lady and everything has to be set up in the settings to download apps from the App Store. Another up approach or another option is to download it from the developers from Microsoft website directly. So you can open up Safari and look up the uh, Microsoft Word download and you will be uh, redirected or you'll be able to open up the app or their website directly and this allows you to download the app from their like you know official store right just keep in mind that in every case you will need the license key to get or to use the microsoft word as it's obviously a paid software so you i would really advise you to stick with the official versions and like either get it from the app store or from the official developer website because if you just look it up inside of the google you've got so many different like products trying to sell you the the software in like an unofficial way and i wouldn't really go that route so these are the options on how you can download microsoft word but before you do perhaps try checking out if you're not happy with the apple pages app which is literally apple's equivalent of the microsoft word and it should be built in on your mac computer you can literally just open it up open it up it is called pages with an orange icon and it works on a similar basis where you edit your document, you play with the titles, layouts, and images. You know, you can work with this and then you can export it in PDFs or even Word and more file types are available to export it with. So, yeah, at least check out that, that option. Perhaps you're going to like it. And if not, then just download the Microsoft Word as you originally intended. So that's it from me. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Hit the thumbs up if you did. Subscribe below and I'll see you in the next tutorial.